CJNU 93.7 FM. I'm John McLeese, volunteer announcer, and joining me on Pledge Weekend 2020 is Karen Taylor Hughes, CEO of Winnipeg Harvest. Karen, welcome to Pledge Weekend 2020. Hi, John. Thanks for having me. Now, Winnipeg Harvest is celebrating 35 years in the community. That is a significant milestone. Congratulations. Now, how are things at Winnipeg Harvest these days? Well, things at Harvest are really busy. We are getting a lot of um, increased need for food. But we're also also taking a moment to celebrate community because 35 years we've been strong supporting Manitobans, and that's only because we've got such great support from Manitobans for food and fun. So that's what we're celebrating is the fact that the community has always pulled together for 35 years to ensure that no Manitoban goes hungry, and we're really proud of that. Oh, absolutely, and they've done an excellent job of it over the years. How has the uh, pandemic impacted Winnipeg Harvest's ability to collect donations and deliver to those in need? Initially, it was quite tough. We had a shortage of food and funds, but Manitoban stepped up in a way we'd never seen before with an outpouring of food. Folks were running um, social distance food drives in their communities and bringing in thousands of pounds of food. So that was truly important. We also had lots of folks donating funds to allow us to, when we needed to, purchase food for the first time ever. So we've got a great support network, um, but I want to say we totally are thankful for that. But the reality is this job is far from over. Lots of families are still hurting, and we still need that support. Now, with the pandemic, has there been an increased demand to provide assistance to families these days? Yes, initially we saw a 30% increase, that was on top of our regular 70000 that we provide food to. After that, when the different programs came into place, we noticed things kind of plateaued and sort of stayed at a certain lower level for a while. But since June, we've seen a steady increase, and we're looking at anywhere from 40 to 50% over the next few months. So that could be an extra 35,000 Manitobans that need food support. So. We are really heading into new territory for Harvest. We've never provided food support for that many Manitobans ever in our history. Isn't that, uh, that that's amazing? That's it's unfortunate, but you know it's part of the part of the role. Are are you going to be in need of more drivers and other volunteers as we approach the holiday season? Absolutely, we're grateful to receive donations of food and money, but that goes hand in hand with donations of time. When we receive an influx of food, we need people here to help us sort and pack our hampers and volunteers to help us deliver them to our food banks. So we are always looking for volunteers. And you can just go on to our website and look on the Donate button or Volunteer button, and it'll take you right to the opportunity to volunteer. And we great, truly appreciate that. And also want to let you know for volunteers, we have done taken lots of safety precautions, so it is completely safe to be in our building. We clean, we have masks, we sanitize, and we have gloves, and we try to make sure everyone is safe and comfortable. Karen, can family members participate? Are you looking for individuals, or if a family wanted to, you know, spend some time together packing food or making deliveries or what have you, could they do that together? Absolutely. We're looking at families of the 13-year-old children and up just because we want to make sure little kids are safe so if they want to come with their parents at 13 and up they're more than welcome to come with their parents and volunteer we have two hour shifts morning afternoon and evening monday through saturday so not very long but very impactful and um whatever they're doing of packing hampers those hampers are going out the very next day so this is really important impactful work and you're actually putting hampers together that will be on someone's table those items the next day so let's throw that out again if listeners want to contact Winnipeg Harvest to donate their time. How would they do that? They go to our website at www.winnipegharvest.org. And if you click on the Donate button, it will show you how you can donate gifts of food, time, or money. And under the time, you can go into our volunteer portal and sign up for shifts. Well, it's pretty easy then. You know, it's very easy to just go a few clicks and you can make arrangements for your... Uh, your time with Harvest. Absolutely. Now, I understand that uh, you'd like to hear a song today, and you've chosen You've Got a Friend by James Taylor. Is there any special meaning to this song for you? Well, I think of this song as a great fitting song to share with our clients and our donors alike. 
because what we noticed through, especially through this pandemic, people from all walks of life have really stepped in to ensure that no COVID affected families were turned away hungry. And their shared action provided nourishment beyond the food in our hampers. Our clients receive these great gifts of food and they are just so full of hope and they feel the goodwill that has come through them knowing that Manitobans are their friends and they know they have friends. They have friends through Harvest, their food bank, their soup kitchen. And I think we're just really fortunate to live in a province where so many people care about our community and folks who are struggling. So I think You've Got a Friend is a perfect song for all of our folks that both give and receive. Karen Taylor Hughes, CEO of Winnipeg Harvest, thanks so much for joining me today and being such a great partner with CJNU. Thank you so much for having us today. Here's You've Got a Friend by James Taylor. And for Pledge Week 2020, I'm John McLeese on CJNU 93.7 FM. When you're down and troubled And you need a helping hand And nothing, oh, nothing is going your eyes and think to me and soon I will be there to brighten up even your darkest night you just call up my name and you know got to do is call and I'll be there yeah 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 you got a friend if the sky above you should turn dark and full of clouds And that old north wind should look in the blow Keep your head together And call my name out loud now Soon I'll be knocking upon your door Just call up my name And you know wherever I am I'll come running Oh yes I will see you again Winter, spring, summer, or fall All you got to do is call I'll be there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, ain't it good to know that you got a friend? When people can be so cold, they'll hurt you and desert you. Well, they'll take your soul if you let them. Oh, yeah, but don't you? Just call out my name
got a friend, yeah. Ain't it good to know you got a friend? Ain't it good to know you got a friend? Oh yeah, yeah, you got a 